Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes it's Pythia, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Plays channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Grow a Garden series and with the Friend Boost. Um, I actually just made a quick video on the Brain Rot Kit, which also talked about, uh, which also has Friend Boost in it, but... This was brought to you by Tigo, so we've been just busting out all these tutorials. Thank gosh, we're getting it all done. But um, yeah, so Tigo's made this, so go thank him, you guys. Um, but yeah, if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe button and turn on post notifications. You may be searching this video separately, or you may be watching this part of the series, whatever works. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go into the description, and all the links are in the description. I kind of talk about this in all my videos, but you got to go grab the link. Um, uh, unfortunately, I can't make this a model because uh, Roblox doesn't allow me to as uh, we use module scripts and we use require a lot into it. And I guess this new update, they made it. You can't do that. But yeah, just join the Discord. Um, it's right in here. It's called the GA uh, Kit Updates, and it's just right here. You can download the model. That is if you are following the series. Um, if you are following the series, go grab the model, and you can import it. If you uh, Also, if you want, by the way... Um, you can also just go to my profile, of course, and go to the kit, which is also linked in the description, and you can edit in studio or download whatever works. Um, but this is the full kit, and it should just have everything already in it for you. Um, but yeah, so you can't really see much of a difference. Nothing has really happened, um, but we did change a few things. So uh, once you own, when you get the model, it's going to look like this, okay? Services, starter join, star player scripts. Um, I'm just actually just going to quickly just go through the scripts for you and kind of go what we talked about. Uh, but Tigo made this, so uh, God bless. But <laughs> yeah, so in here, um, Tigo, I also just added this. But um, basically, what happens is, of course, it doesn't show up. Normally, it's right here, okay, as you can tell. And I'll show you real quick how to enable that. But um, what you got to do is drag this to starter GUI. So change your old main, just like drag and drop into here. Um, but if you do have some things that were changed, uh, you're gonna just all you're gonna do is just change this friend boost right here So if you already like kind of mess with your GUI All you have to do is just grab this little friend boost thing and put it into the starter GUI like this, okay? And you should be good. Um, but yeah, so what happens is as you can tell this is what it looks like down here um, It's it's visible now um, And what happens is every time a friend joins your game it basically is going to go up a certain percentage Which I'll talk about in a sec but it's only going to show when, of course, the friend is in the game or whatever. So that's just how Girl Garden does it as well. Um, but yeah, so that's all you have to do for main. So once you do starter GUI, you're good. And then this is a new script. So you're going to put this in starter player scripts by going to starter player and putting in starter player scripts. Okay, I already have one, so we're good. And yeah, uh, I'll talk about this script in a sec. And then, of course, the main thing is the money service, which uh, basically you can drag this into your server script service and put it in the services and change out your old one. Uh, but I already have mine fixed. So, okay. So going into money service, let's just talk about this real quick. Um, basically right here, uh, this is all you have to change. There's max friends and then there's boost per friend. So Tigo made it so you could do certain variables uh, that allow you to change it based off of your liking. So um, if you want 10% per friend or you want 15% or 5%, you can go off of that. If you want 5%, go 0 0.05, 10%, um, 15%, as you can tell. Uh, Mac friends that give the boost you basically just go into here, um, but yeah, so Right here how we did it is um, It looks like he added a few things. I have even really checked actually so we made a new local function called update friends boost um, So it goes and checks and get use the get friends async which I told him I didn't know about but <laughs> basically it grabs your friends and um, If it goes through and succeeds it will um, go through this for loop of course um, and it gets the current page of friends. If the friends in the game is greater than or equal to max friends, then it's going to break it. So, you know, it doesn't go above that. Um, and then going through here, friends in game is plus equals one. So we're going to be adding to that variable, which is zero right now. But it's going to be adding, we're adding one to it if, you know, we have a friend in the game. But as you can tell, boost multiplier, boost percentage, and player set attribute friend boost. Oh, this is nice how we did this. So he has, a, he has a new attribute called friend boost, and we're basically doing a boost multiplier. And we're going based off of how many friends in the game, and then boost per friend, which we talked about right here. So that's pretty nice. So he did this, and then update friend boost fire client. Okay, so that's where we fire this, which we talk about. And um, basically, on client event, we're sending it to, all the, um, to the client. And on the event, we're basically just going to grab the boost percentage. We're going to grab the main GUI, the label, all that stuff. We're going to do friend boost label dot text equals friend boost plus 
boost percentage, which we're sending through is either 10%, 20%, 30%, or 40%. Um, and then, of course, uh, we're right here, we're just basically going to enable it because you want it un invisible unless there's friends in the game. Um, and yeah, it will kind of, I do need to add a little variable to that later, but um, then we go through here. Let's just actually check real quick. So update friends. Okay. So when the data gets loaded, it looks like he put it into data.loaded. Um, it's going to check for the player and then it's going to go through here and then do all the friends and stuff like that. I don't think he put it anywhere else if I'm right. Oh, okay. Right here in the initialized server. Yes. Yeah, same thing. So data.loaded, but player.added. Um, and if get yeah, players, if other players not equal to a uh, player, then friend boost, um, player removing and four player and players get players. We're grabbing the player and doing the update friend boost. So it's just, this is basically just checking if the player, when a player joins the game, we're basically going to go through that function of um, updating the friends. Um, but yeah, so that's that's pretty much it, you guys. Nothing too crazy. Um, if you do want to customize it, if you're new to studio, uh, just go into main right here. And you can just hit open this invisible. Um, and all you can really do, I mean, you can also change the size. It's up to your liking. I kind of just put it kind of in the corner, somewhat small. You can also even like put it in this corner. I don't even know how Grow Garden does it. I think they do it like that. But um, you can go down here and go to properties. And if you don't have properties open, just go to the view tab and you should be able to click properties up here. But uh, yeah, just uh, change these little values right here, like the fonts. Um, I think just stick to these though, because it looks like Grow Garden, but it's up to you. <laughs> and then uh, everything like that. But yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. This is a little short tutorial. Um, I have a lot of cool videos coming up soon. I know you guys want like, gears, things like that. If you want some like brain rot tutorials too, let me know. Cause I know some people are wanting that. So I'll probably be making that, but <laughs> we'll figure it out. Hey, right, you guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.